Hey, welcome to my channel, Expat Barbados. Coming to you from Bridgetown here in Barbados. Hmm, what's your creator? In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the 10 places or landmarks you need to visit when you come to Barbados and in particular, Bridgetown, the capital. So don't forget to watch till the end of the video and subscribe for weekly videos. First on my list is the Pelican Craft Centre, which offers authentic local arts and crafts to purchase. Great for souvenirs and so, for gifts. I have a little bit of a memory. So this was all water. Oh, wow! This has all been reclaimed from the sea. So right? this has been reclaimed from, from the, the sea. sea. The cruise terminal is very close to the Pelican Craft Centre. The Bridgetown Fish Market and the Cheapside Public Market are fantastic places to shop. You will get great prices, fresh food and many of it locally produced or grown. Hard to have spices, yeah. Right. Rosemary. Oh, she got rosemary as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's mad. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew it was the page. Yeah. That's the meat market in there. The cheap so cheap side so post so office so if you want to find yeah. this guy. Ginger, though, is it? Is this is Bajan ginger? I don't think it is. That's not Bajan ginger, is it? It's imported. Bless you. Smaller. Smaller. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eggplant? Oh, and the eggplant. Yeah. St. Mary's Church was erected to serve the growing urban population and reflected the diverse origins of the town's population. Wow! Yes! Yeah. I'm going to get that. And the turrets at the very top. So you can see it's real colonial kind of architecture. The right excellent Samuel Jackman press card is buried here. Swan Street is a truly historic street. Traditionally, it had homes with businesses below, but now and today, you will find that it is a place to shop for bargains. There are a wide variety of clothing, small malls with kiosks run by people from all over the world. Hi, beautiful. Any answers? Any answers today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the stones in, Best place to find the latest styles, fashions, 
great beauty products, uh, hair and barbering services, food and drink in a bustling atmosphere with great prices. Now Broad Street is a very popular shopping area for locals and also for tourists. Here you will find several malls and stores selling clothing, shoes, jewellery, electronic items at duty-free prices, a lot of international brands. So it's a very popular place to shop. You will find everything here in Bridgetown. Now, my fifth place to stop is the boardwalk. And the reason is quite simply because this is the best place to spot the catamarans and the boats docked in the careenage. This is um, the boardwalk yeah. and this is known as the careenage. It's also the place where you will often find people boarding the catamarans to swim with turtles. She's going to make it up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a turtle. Hey, you're going to be a cheater. Right, though. On video. It's on video. And to watch the beautiful sunsets. become different industries and different shops um, over the years, right? Yes. But they're saying that um, this is old British colonial architecture, yeah, um, which see. actually remains within yeah. um, Barbados today. Yeah. National Heroes Square marks the centre of Bridgetown and it's on Broad Street. It's home to a beautiful fountain and a war memorial to honour those Bayesians who fought in World War I. Just over the street is the historic Barbados Parliament, the third oldest in the Commonwealth. You can immediately see that the building's architectural style is very similar to some of the buildings in England, but in particular the Houses of Parliament in London. And this is a reflection of the island's colonial past. Mm -hmm. 
we are now at the end of the boardwalk and about to walk over the Chamber Lane Bridge. Don't forget to stop and buy a refreshing snow cone, perfect for this hot weather. Don't forget to walk under the Independence Arch, which was built in 1987 to celebrate Barbados's 21st anniversary of independence from Britain. As you walk under the Independence Arch and then turn left, you will find yourself facing the entrance to the Independence Square. Independence Square here in Bridgetown, Barbados. This is a place for relaxation, but also for celebration and performances. Here you will see the statue of Barbados's first Prime Minister, the late right excellent Sir Errol Walton Barrow, looking over the city. The eighth place or landmark is actually a very recent addition to Bridgetown. It is the Golden Square Freedom Park and it was opened in November 2021 on the eve of Barbados becoming a republic and it's located in the heart of the city of Bridgetown. Centre stage is the bust of the right excellent Clement Osborne Payne, who is another national hero of Barbados and regarded by many as the apostle of trade unionism in Barbados. Urging workers to educate, speak, agitate but not violate. Known for his powerful speeches, he sought to educate the poor working masses on the importance of coming together. The government of Barbados established the site to commemorate his memory and celebrate his legacy. First was one of the last cinemas. Look how busy the streets were, babe. Yeah. The cars, the 50s. Wow. Yes. <laughs> we are at the Builders of Barbados Wall. And this wall commemorates the unsung heroes of Barbados who have built this country over the last 6,000 years of its existence. Let's go and take a look. Inscribed on the wall are all the surnames of all the people who built the country over the last 6,000 years to the present day. The museum offers something for everyone. <laughs> From exhibits on social history, fine art, African history, and much, much more. I saw it when they had the um, Republic. Yeah. yeah, they were wearing them then. 
The final landmark is the childhood home of the right excellent Robin Rihanna Fenty. So this is Rihanna Drive. This is what this is what she grew up with. This is yeah. her street yeah. um, at the back of the cricket ground. Yeah. This is it. This is West River. This is where she grew up. Uh, That's the convenience store. And this is where she comes to see her friends and her old neighbours whenever she's on the island. On the left. On this one here. Who was bestowed the honour of National Hero on November the 30th, 2021, during the ceremony to officially declare Barbados a republic. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and comment and subscribe. Was your creator? Oh, yeah. Ha! I know this must sound crazy.